Hi, I'm Gwen Mims, I'm the lead stylist for Oshan, and today I'm going to show you how to safely curl your hair. Now, whether you're going for a softer beachy wave or maybe you're going for more of a Hollywood glam look, it's really important to use the right products and the right tools to get the look that you're going for. Today I'm going to use on my hair the Rare Blend Oil by Ojan. This oil right here is amazing because it's going to give you the heat protection that you need against that hot, hot curling iron, but it's also going to get that style going with tons of shine. First thing you're going to want to do is brush through your hair using a boar bristle brush just to get rid of any little knots and kinks through my hair. Next thing that you're going to do is take a drop of the oil. Give it a good shake and it's going to mix together all those amazing oils. Now, with a product like this, it's all about using the right amount. A little goes a very long way. So my hair is about a medium texture, medium length, pretty standard hair. I'm going to go through and tip it over into my finger two times. Those two little drops is going to be all I need to run through the mid lengths and ends of my hair. If I get to certain sections that feels like the product didn't all the way go through, I can add a little bit more as I go. It's all about building it up rather than putting too much at the very beginning. So I'm rubbing the products through my hands and then I'm just going to rake it through just my mid lengths and ends of my hair. I'm taking a little duckbill clip and I'm going to trace that clip over the side of my head. I'm kind of sectioning, if you feel your head, you're going to feel that you have a little bit of a bump right here. This is a bone in your head. You can do that sectioning line right there and it's a really good place to get started. Twisting that hair up and out of the way. And then I'm going to start dividing this hair vertically so that sections are a little more tall than they are wide. So I've got about an inch to an inch and a half of hair in width and it's a couple inches tall. This is going to be your first section. You're going to put the clamp in just a couple of inches away from the scalp and then start to turn the iron. Releasing the clamp and then twisting towards the scalp. Let it sit for just a couple of seconds till the hair feels slightly warm to the touch and then you're going to release the clamp and let the curl fall. Okay, this part can be a little tricky if you have bangs, so let me show you. I think it's important to group your bangs in with the rest of it because unless you have really straightforward straight fringe, you can leave those out if you want. But if you have a longer side swept fringe, I think it's important to incorporate it in as well. So I'm just going to take the whole bang section, I'm going to lift it a little further up. These first sections I was directing down a little bit more, but as you get towards the top of the head, we're in that second section now, lift it up a little bit more. It's going to give you some nice volume. So you're going to see on these shorter pieces, it might not wrap around the iron quite as many times, but that's all the more reason to be using a smaller iron rather than a large one. So this side of my hair now has the wave in it. Again, it's a little stiff looking, but we're going to break it up in a little bit. Now I'm going to go through and section the other side of my hair. Again, tracing the clip right along that bone on your head in order to get a nice clean section. Taking the hair, it's about an inch thick and a couple inches tall. So I've curled this bottom section and now I'm going in to the last section, which is on the other side of my part. Again, I just split the side of my head in half. And now I'm taking another vertical section. This area is a little shorter because it has all my face framing, a little bit of my fringe in there. Putting in the iron, wrapping it around until it feels warm to the touch. And then shaking it off the iron. Okay, so I've gone through and I've curled on my hair, and you can see that the curl is just looking a little tight, but I can go through at this point and just kind of break it up with my hands or brush through it, and the wave's going to start coming out. Now, you can either, you can brush it out as much as you want, or you could leave as much in. I personally like my waves to look a little undone, a little bit softer and beachier. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can watch some more how-to videos. We'll see you next time.